Hey, hi, welcome to Pink Feather Training. In this section, we will be covering up the first level of the basics. Over there, I will be covering IAM, SSO, authentication, authorization, provisioning, and deprovisioning. So the reason for covering all these basics are to understand the Pink Feather, it is must and should to understand these basics. Okay, so let's start with the first level of the basics. In that, let's go to the IAM. So what exactly the IAM is? IAM is nothing but an identity access management. So basically, it is ensuring only authorized users can access sensitive data and application. Where identity is nothing but an, it will be tracking and managing the objects, like objects in the sense like users, groups, devices, etc. Where access is granting the permissions to the abo identities means granting the permissions to the users granting the permissions to the groups or devices okay so let's move to the next topic sso so sso is nothing but a single sign on it is an identification method that enables user to log in with one set of password and where he can log in into multiple applications where he doesn't require to log in multiple times Let's take the example, real-time scenario, Gmail account. In Gmail, we will be creating up with an username and password. If suppose once we log in into the particular Gmail, using the same credentials, we can use the different applications like YouTube and also Sheets. And also we can open the contacts application like different applications, right? Where, where we doesn't require to open or we doesn't require to enter the ID and password multiple times, right? In the same way, in the SSO is also the same thing. Using the one set of password and ID, we can log into the one application and with that, with that one application, we can access the rest of the applications. Okay. Let's move to the next topic, authentication. Authentication is nothing but then when it used to validate the user's identity, whether the user is valid or not. So let's take the example Facebook. So whenever we try to log in into the application, it will be asking us to enter the login credentials. That is nothing but then first step of authentication. So basically it will be asking us to enter the details. So once we enter the, those details, if it is a valid, then we will be entering to that particular Facebook page. If not, it will be showing it's an incurrent password or incurrent data. Okay. So the thing is that when it comes to the our pink red, where authentication will be acting as IDP, where IDP is nothing but an identity provider. So I will be talking about the identity provider in the next sections. So don't worry about it. So the thing is that the authentication is nothing but then it is the it is the making sure that the users who is strong trying to use the application whether it is valid or not, where it will be verifying it. Okay. So let's move to the next topic, authorization. So authorization is nothing but then people or user whoever try uh, logged in into the particular application it will be providing the permissions to them there will be limited permissions to that particular user so every user will be having a different permissions so over here the identity where user have a specific permission or not after the successful authentication so once a user logged into the facebook once he is authenticated he will be having some level of authorization in the Facebook also. Not only in the Facebook, in any application. Okay. Let's move to the next topic. And let me tell you exactly what's the differences between the authentication and authorization. So basically, the authentication is all about verifying the user's identity. Where authorization is all about determine user permission okay 
So basically for authentication and authorization, there are different techniques. When it comes to authentication, the techniques like second step authentication, passport based authentication, passwordless authentication, all these things. When it comes to this second step factor authentication, it is nothing but a multi-factor authentication. And let's talk about the authorization techniques where we have different authorization techniques like SAML authorization, open ID authorization, OAuth authorization. So overall, the thing is that the authentication is all about verifies the credentials where it is visible to the users whenever it uh, is trying to enter into the password or ID on the particular application. When it comes to the authorization, it gives the permission basically. Basically, the user can't able to see the exactly what's happening in the background. So that's the thing. So here, when we talk about our upcoming project over here, the thing is that being fed act as an IDP where SP act as an authorization. So that's the thing. So let's move to the next topic provisioning. So basically the provision is nothing but then it's all about, it's like a creation of the account. So basically it's like a granting access. So the thing is that creating the user identity or roles in an application or in an organization. So example, if you join in any particular organization, basically the thing is that the company will be creating an account for us, right? In the particular directory or anywhere. So that is nothing but an provisioning. If suppose in the future, if I'm planning to leave the organization or if suppose if I want to deactivate my Facebook account or Instagram account. So that is nothing but a deprovisioning. Deprovision is nothing but then revoke the user where removing the user identity and roles in that particular application or in the particular organization. So in the next section, we will be discussing about the second level of basics. Okay. Thank you guys. Let's meet in the next session. Bye-bye.